this weekend, Courtney and I are in Chicago and we're gonna do our favorite thing that we like to do in a city and that is a food tour. Most people go for deep dish pizza or hot dogs. We are gonna look at five other places you should eat while you're in the city. beans ground up on top. The donut is cooked perfectly. It looks like the perfect ratio of sweetness to donut. This is a good one. We're gonna finish these two, do some walking, might make it to the park and try a few more donuts. It's time to try our last two donuts from Stan's Donuts this morning before we move on to our next stop. We're down to the birthday cake and the glazed pretzel. I'm so excited. Which one are you gonna try? Uh, the glazed pretzel. Glazed pretzel first. We're gonna finish eating these donuts, enjoying the park, and then we're gonna head to Chinatown for our next treat. Or two. Starting our trip here in Chinatown with some dumplings. They were excellent. We got chicken and mushroom, pork, shrimp, and leek. So two kinds. It was really hard not to order more because they're so good, but we have a lot of places to eat here, which takes us to the next spot, which is the food court. Neither 
have ever had bubble tea, so I have grapefruit, I added boba, and Courtney has a classic milk tea. We have our tea, we're ready to walk around Chinatown and then head over to the bakery. I think we might have found the best view in Chicago. <laughs> Courtney and I have actually both been to China. It's a place we'd want to go back. We were just talking the other day how fun it would be to go to Beijing. So it's really cool since we're in Chicago to come down to Chinatown try some different foods. It makes us feel like we get to explore outside the country without actually leaving. We will leave at one <laughs> We <Eventually>. will. <laughs> eventually we'll we get, to to <laughs> get to explore other countries eventually. But for now, we just get to have dumplings and boba tea and now pork buns. Chinatown is at this bakery. We need to get some pork buns and hopefully some egg tarts. I'm sure we'll get a little bit more than that, but those are the two things we have to get while we're here. We decided we needed to try the pork bun while we're here. All of these treats were only $9. Cash only though. Just kidding, cheesecake first. It's like the jiggly cheesecakes. <laughs> oh, so good. This is the first time Courtney's had a barbecue pork bun. Good. That's why we got two. Courtney's gonna try the egg tart first. They have the egg tarts and then this is the Portuguese egg tart. I expect it'll be a little sweeter than the other one. Mm. Didn't even make a dent. We're gonna save the rest for later. I mean, everything we've had to eat in Chinatown has been amazing. So of course I wanna try everything else, but I'm so full. If you're in Chicago for a few days or just an afternoon, you definitely need to come down to Chinatown. It was super easy to take the train to get here. Plus we had awesome treats. That pork bun was only $1.50. We got to try a Japanese cheesecake. I think it was only $2. Great treats to check out while you're here. If you don't have anywhere to go, check out the dumplings, the bakery, grab some boba tea and go for a walk. The bakery is cash only, so just keep that in mind if you head there. Yep. We're gonna jump on the red line and head back downtown. Definitely have some good brewery options when you're in Chicago. Of course we went to Goose Island yesterday, but we're at Forbidden Root today for something a little different.
one last beer before we end our time here at Forbidden Root. The Distant Horizon Tart Golden Ale, which is a golden ale with pomegranate juice and Thai lime leaves. That's our last beer here at Forbidden Root. We are headed to get pizza, which is pretty much the reason I came to Chicago. Courtney definitely got the biggest piece. Very excited for this. I am gonna send you back to last night when we had Jenny's ice cream. That is our stop number five for this tour. We are ending the night at Jenny's Ice Cream. I have gooey butter cake and darkest chocolate and you have coffee, cream and sugar and the peanut butter chocolate flake. Of course, peanut butter. It is summer so it's melting obviously but it looks so good. <laughs> it's really good. Hopefully you enjoyed this food tour. That does it for us tonight. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully that gives you a few more places to try out while you're visiting the city. So basil we're just standing here waiting for the train back to our hotel kind of assessing our leftovers we have leftover pizza leftover donuts leftover buns from the bakery <laughs> we're pretty much going to pack the refrigerator in the hotel we had ice cream last night was the start of the food tour so we decided that it took about 27 hours 